Hey there, thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm going to be doing something special at the request of a viewer. Jimmy Vanilla from the Afflift forum has requested that I make a video about ripping and cleaning a landing page, which is quite the struggle if you don't know what you're doing, but once you know what you're doing, it's fairly straightforward. So let's get into that right now. If you'd like to sign up for Afflift, the link is in the description below. It is by far the best um, CPA affiliate form around. So let's get started. I've pre-found a landing page on Adplexity's spy tool. If you'd like to download Adplexity, you can find the link in the description below. This landing page is a very popular landing page for the casino vertical. So if you want to download a landing page, you just click show more and you can click download this landing page. The file will be downloaded. You can see here it's downloading as we speak. I've already downloaded this landing page, so let's open it up in VS Code. And this is the file. This random string here is the index file, so we could actually rename this file index.html. And then the formatting is not very pretty. So thankfully I'm using VS Code and I can just save it and it will reformat very nicely for me. And the same thing with the CSS file, it's been minified so we can just save it and it will become more readable for us. So let's get started in the index file. We can open this with the live server plugin. And we'll have this landing page here. Let's put it off to the side. And so let's test it and make sure it works. Spinning works. And once we're to the end, Looks like everything's working fine. Um, you may notice here there's a blank spot, so there's a missing image. We need to inspect with the Chrome developer tools. And we can see that the image is actually missing. So we can go back to Adplexity and we can see if we can view this page on the domain that it came from and see if the image is there. Let's get to the end. Sometimes all the image files aren't downloaded when you download them from the spy tool, so you have to go and find them yourself. It looks like the image is missing here as well, and we got a 403 error here so we'll just have to use our own image. I have my own image down here on the desktop so I'm going to find out what this image is called. Looks like it's probably a PNG file. Okay so it's called like PNG and we have four instances of it. Oh, two arrows. So let's just do slash like dot png two instances of it so we can just delete this domain find the next one like dot png will drag this like image into there save it and we can reload this file and see if it's displaying correctly. Okay, it looks like this is now displaying correctly. But then we have another problem with the comments. It looks like they are broken. You see it says just now here and it's missing in these first three comments. 
the same thing is on here. So this page has probably been ripped a thousand times and through the process it's become broken. But we can fix that. Let's find the comment. We can look for Alex. Alex. And so this is the line that is missing. First comment, second comment, third comment. If we see on the fourth comment here, there's a style display block, and this will get our styles to display there, the line that we want. So we can just add it like this. And if we refresh the page, There's some sort of a script on this page, as you can see, it's redirecting, so we'll need to figure out where that's hidden and remove it as well. Let's see if we fix the comments, however. Okay, so now we have just now for all of these, which is perfect. So everything seems to work. We click this button, we get an alert, and we redirect there. So let's find where the script is. Start at the top. We can remove this base href. Let's add a language tag here so that the browser will prompt the user to translate if they don't speak the language of the page, which is English. So just do lang equals en. So let's find this. Looks like we have a few domains we need to replace with these sound files. So we'll need to download those files because they're not present in our folder here. So let's find the script. You can just do command F on a Mac and search for script. And so here we got jQuery. We'll want to replace that. Let's do that now, actually. jQuery CDN, you can search on Google. And CDN JS is a good one to use. Let's open the jQuery file and see which version of jQuery we need. It looks like 2.2, fairly old, but that's what it needs. So let's download that 2.2.0. And we'll take the min.js, copy the URL. We can just replace this, the URL, save that. So here's the script. You kind of need to know a little bit about JavaScript to fix the JavaScript on the page if there is any. This is to make the quiz work in the slot machine. This is a timer. This is to hide various things when people click on the page. And then we have jackpot. This is updating the jackpot. You can see it's counting up here very slowly. So that's updating the jackpot. This is for the money. And then we have timer here. This is all for the timer. Okay, and then we have, this is the alert that comes when you first start the page. If we do index and here is a back button script so we can delete that or comment it out it's easier if you just comment it out because then if you delete something and you actually needed it you have to um, undo a whole bunch so we can just comment that out for now and then this script looks like it's rewriting the index to r3rs so we'll comment this out save 
refresh with the index HTML. As you see, we got that to work, so it's not redirecting away from this index file, which is what we want. So we can totally delete this. Save. And this was the back button. We'll just delete it for now. Okay, so then we need to get these sound files. And what you can do for that is just enter them into your browser and download the file. So we'll do that for each of these files. This is a player of the sound, so we can just click here, download. We got that. Download. Download. So then we can just take these files, drag them into our folder, and delete the domain. So we can just do find and replace that. Let's refresh and make sure it works. Looks like we can't find the sounds because it's in a sounds folder. So we can put win and spin in sounds folder. Let's add a folder called sounds. Win, spin, drag them into there. The sounds are working. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I can hear them with my headphones. So we have the sounds working just fine. You can see there's the folder. So we could have just deleted the sounds folder and just left the sounds in the main root, but it doesn't matter now. So now let's check. It looks like we're missing a favicon. and it's not really essential. You can add one if you want. You would just add it up here in the header. Um, I'm just going to leave it away for now. We don't need it. So then we got the call to action button. We need to find out where this is. So if we just go to the end, we can see where we're redirected to. If you look in the bottom left right down here, you should see the domain. It's uh, go.clicktrack.com slash click. So if we just do command F click, you can find there's two instances of it. We have them right here. So we could just put Google here for now, which is what we'll do. google.com save that let's try it again this is the most time consuming part is refreshing the page and making sure everything works but it's essential if you want to make sure that your page has no scripts that you don't want in there so everything's working we're getting no errors in the console related to our page they're just related to browser extensions. So if we have this, it goes to google.com. So let's just click that and make sure. Yes, google.com. So we can go back. And let's quickly scan over all of the tags here in the HTML file 
and make sure that we didn't miss anything. It's possibly pointing to a different domain. These are images as base64, so we can leave that in there. You can actually copy this and go to um, a base64, search on Google, base64 image decode, and then you can see what image this actually is. So, we've got our jQuery here. And then you could actually take all of this JavaScript and put it into a single JavaScript file if you want. But we'll just leave this here for now. So everything looks good. It looks like we have a V here that we could delete. Save that. And you can verify that your landing page isn't linking to any external domains by going in the network tab, clearing it out, refreshing and then let's see what comes up here so all of this is from our index file these are the images images sounds looks like everything is from our domain these bottom few you don't need to worry about because it's from a browser extension of mine And so that's it for cleaning a landing page. This page would be ready to upload to my domain, which we could do right now. Let's open my demo domain.dev. We can take the folder here and let's call this slot. Copy the folder. So now we have slot here and we can open it here as well. And we can just upload this to our Netflix hosting. And that's it for cleaning the landing page. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section down below. And I would appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, it would help me out a lot. If you have any ideas for future videos like Jimmy from Afflift had, then please let me know in the comment section below. And potentially in the future, I could make a video on whatever you request. See you next time.